Hey, it's Friday and you're watching The Biggest Beauty Project. This week it's Kelly's topic and she says, in the face of adversity, what do you use to pull yourself through? When you feel like giving up, what keeps you going? So I think that is an awesome topic. I haven't been able to watch a whole lot of videos this week, so I've just seen a couple from the channel. Um, but I think it's a really great topic, and Kelly, I'm really glad that you chose this. This may seem like a really cheesy answer, but um, prayer, I believe in God, so um, I pray when I'm facing something and struggling with, with something. I'll pray for the situation in general, or for strength, courage, whatever I feel like I need in that situation to get me through. Also meditating, I really love, it's really nice to just clear your mind, especially when you're dwelling on something, you have like things running through your mind constantly. That always really helps me to feel calm, even when I'm struggling with stuff. Also recently I've gotten back into journaling, which also sounds lame. I feel like I can get my thoughts and feelings out better in writing than I can um, verbally. And plus, you know, I don't have to worry about finding someone to listen to me and finding someone who's not going to judge and who's going to care and things like that. I can just write and it's just for me. It's not for someone else. For me at least, it's been really interesting to see um, times when I was feeling so low and when things were um, going so poorly and how quickly things turned around. Of course, I didn't know that at the time. Looking back, I remember feeling those things that I was writing about, and it's just kind of amazing how quickly things turned around. Sometimes I like to talk to people, but um, generally in my experience, um, whenever I've been going through something rough, people kind of go away and don't want to be around someone who's struggling or who's depressed um, or who has different kinds of problems. So um, I don't really, you know, rely on having friends to talk to, but I do like to talk to my Tumblr friends because there's always someone on there who has really good advice or who's been there or um, who just has a kind word to say, you know, when I'm kind of spilling my guts out. I always have at least one person leave a nice supportive comment, usually many more. I have amazing Tumblr followers. so. Um, my Tumblr friends helped me through. They've helped me through so much. And of course my family. Um, my family's always been there for me. Um, especially my parents. They have supported me through everything. Um, even when no one else believed in me, they did. They never stopped believing in me. And now that I'm in a good spot in my life, it's nice to be able to share that with them too. And um, I know that they do really care about how my day is going at work. And they do understand how I feel because they've been there for me through everything, through all my highs and lows. So kind of a deep topic this week, but I love those. I'm actually recording this on a Friday. I don't know if that's ever happened before. I've worked all week this week. I have worked 40 hours. Um, it has been crazy because I was so used to working part-time and in the evenings, and now I'm working full-time and during the day. So times when I was used to being at home, I'm at work, and times I was used to being at work, I'm at home. And my sleep schedule has had to totally change because I have to get up at like 5.30. Um, but luckily I don't have a long commute, so that's really nice. I haven't actually started doing the work I'm going to be doing yet. We are still in training because we're going to be answering phones, so we have to learn some of those answers and learn how to find them before we can actually talk to the people we're going to be talking to. I've made it through my first week and I'm enjoying it so far. It's not really, you know, training isn't really that enjoyable, so I won't really know how I feel about it until I actually start. Um, next week we're going to start kind of getting more into our actual jobs, which will be very interesting, I hope. But I have been exhausted this week, and I'm so glad that it is the weekend, finally. Girls, I hope you've all had a really great week. Like I said, I've been kind of out of life this week. I feel a little bit like a zombie Friday afternoon. I can't really think of a lot I had to say. Um, I think tomorrow I'm gonna go shopping for some different things, for some work clothes, now I have like my official dress code and know the rules and everything. So that'll be really fun, and it'll be really kind of weird not to work on the weekends because again I'm used to working all weekend so this is a change and I like it but it's just different. So yeah I think that's it for me today. Viewers hope you're all doing well too. Hope everyone out there has a really great safe and happy weekend and I will see you all next week. Bye!